Hey, this is Dave and Rich. We're at the lake house again, and we're uh, gonna add some gutters. We took off old gutters and did all new fascia on the front. The other gutters really weren't worth saving. And so, in this video, we're gonna show you how to replace uh, your old gutters with something that's you know pretty standard fare from your big box stores. Uh, it's a real simple process. All you need are these uh, self-drilling, uh, self-tapping gutter screws. Here's our half inch white self-piercing gutter screws. And that's your that's the secret sauce for this it, this project. It makes it super simple. And all we gotta do here, we have a these are called K-style gutters. Uh, you know, if these are aluminum, it depends on what you get uh, if you're gonna do a similar project. But these are your end caps, and we already put it on, but we're gonna reattach it here for you and show you how. And the simple process, they already have these grooves pre-bent into them and so you just match up the lines the grooves with your gutters and you're up you're good because these are going to hold water I'm not going to drill way way low but I'm going to drill up the top and in the side four screws would be more than enough and then we will caulk the seams to make extra sure that we've got a good tight seal So we just uh, flip the gutters, and like I said, we've already we had already screwed these in. But the purpose of self-piercing is that it goes through this aluminum like butter. And so we'll do another one here. And this allows us. This is an end cap, and. A, this is basically the start of our gutter. It would be to the left there, at the corner of the of the roof. And then on the other side of this gutter, we're gonna put a, a seamer, and it's just one of these pieces of aluminum that's kind of semi-bent in the way that you would want it to have it. And this is just gonna form a collar between the two pieces. And so you just take this, slide it over about halfway, and your next piece of gutter will come over here. Then you take this, the end of this, the back side of this, and just bend her over. Well, you can actually do it with your hand, it's not too difficult. And this will form a channel to receive the next gutter piece. And this one here, you can bend this over. We're just going to bend it back on this one side. You can see that we'll bend this side, we'll wait for until we put that piece of gutter in before we bend the next one. And that's uh, pretty simple, and then same, same process. We'll go ahead and add screws front and back to this just to keep it from moving. When this is all said and done, it's, you know, you're gonna have a really tight seam. There we go. Boom. Yeah, if you don't put, if you don't seam it, if you don't put silicon caulk around these, these, it'll just leak like a sieve. So all, when we get done, all around the inside of that part and all around here, we'll put uh, the gutter silicon waterproof and that will make these things tight as a drum last year's. All right, so this, okay, this is ready for our first piece to go up. One more thing, we have a bunch of these gutter hangers and these are made for this style. They go every 18 inches or two feet, depending on your location. And they just, the, this slides in to the front lip of the gutter, like so. And it kind of locks in there. The back piece will just go like that and space the gutters appropriately. And then this screw is gonna go right into the fascia. And when the head of this screw, or the, I guess the collar of this screw, hits right there, stop, and you're good to go. If you keep on going, these are aluminum, and they'll, they will just crush. So you just want to take that from this point on to here, and in, and you're, you're rock solid. Now when you hang a gutter, it should be uh, one half inch slope for every 10 feet of gutter. This is a 10 foot long piece of gutter, so there should be one half inch slope in that 10 feet. Um, the goal is knowing where your downspouts are. Uh, we tore off a, a gutter here before, but we left the downspout. Down 
and that's where the our downspout is going to be. So when we wrap around this corner with the outside corner piece, then we want to make sure that this whole section goes downhill. But you don't want it to be a super like goofy looking downhill. Just a half inch every 10 feet and you'll, you'll be good. This is about 21 feet long, so we'll have about an inch of slope on this gutter and then to that downspout. The other part is going to start in that far, far corner and it's going to, it's probably about, uh, well I measured it's uh, 15 feet 2 and 3 quarter inches from that corner to this corner, so about 14 feet to here. And so that one's going to have uh, about a three quarter inch slope from that corner to this thing. So they're all coming, this whole, this whole roof is coming to this one downspout right here, this corner of the roof. All right, so these hang up by um, going under your drip edge. They'll go under that drip edge there. And that way, water that comes off the shingles and down the drip edge will drip into your gutter. The rest of it is just pretty easy, putting in these hangers every uh, couple of feet and we'll be good to go. Up. Here's the right there for a second. Grab the drill! It probably helps to have a second person, right? Oh yeah. This has got to come down. Okay, that's what we want right there. Good? Okay, what slope do you have there, Dave? Uh, this is a five degree slope, a half inch for every 10 feet. And I know where the bubble's supposed to be in this level. It's just touching, or just short of touching um, the main center lines to the left, and that way I have a consistent mark all the way down. I've got a, is it a quarter inch drill bit or whatever screw head, and that's really the ticket for these guys. And you just keep the level right in the gutter. Yeah, as we go, and then. I can tell this one's a little bit high. So now we gotta prepare the other the next gutter. And let me measure to see where we are gonna end up. Eleven feet six right to the corner. Perfect. Okay. So that means 11 feet 6, and let's get a look at our, in, our outside corner piece. Now, what we have to do, make this, this gutter, um, join that with an, this is called an outside corner, because it goes around the outside corner of a house. And so we got to make this gutter and this piece, plus another little piece, go from this, that end to this end to be 11 foot 6. And right now it's about 10 foot 6, so we're going to need about a 1 foot piece to go in there like that so we can wrap around that corner. But for our purpose today, we're just going to go ahead and add this, this piece up here right now because we have other facial work to do on this side of the house before we can add it, but at least we'll have this side of the house done. Alright, so uh, to make the right length for this piece here, I need 15 inches. Off, you know, a piece of guttering to add to that gutter and this outside corner with these seamers to be the right length to wrap around the corner perfect. Eighth of an inch plus or minus because you have plenty of room in these seamers to get a little wiggle room. And these are just tin snips and these things you can get them all different kinds and styles. And uh, we're just going to cut through the cut through the gutter. Now, because they're aluminum, they're pretty, it's like an aluminum can, they're pretty bendy. So you can just put them back into shape, and you're good to go. So, our final look is going to be 
our outside corner with a seamer with this piece and where's another seamer so there we go that's how it's all gonna come together and that's our perfect length for our gutter to, for, to go around the corner right so you've got a gutter a seamer in which both gutters this goes on the outside and both gutters will come in the middle here and we'll screw that we screwed that on another piece of gutter a seam every place you have a seam you need a seamer and then your final outside corner piece and that's all going to go right up here and then on another day we're going to go around the corner and continue on around the house all right so once you do one section of guttering it's the same uh, process just repeat it over and over you seam the pieces together you need to get to the correct length when you have an outside corner like this you know you put it on up there but it goes around the outside corner uh, if you if this if the house bent this way you would buy a piece that's called an inside corner so it would wrap that way but th this is not at all uh, difficult just repeating the same process putting your appropriate hangers in the gutter hanging the gutter with an appropriate slope um, any homeowner can do it. Hope this helps with your fall gutter hanging projects. Thanks a lot for viewing. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear how your projects are going.